Cody Weiss writes, hi guys, you're awesome. So I just <laughs> recently watched Rain Over Me and I thought that Adam Sandler did a great job in that serious role. My question is, do you think Adam Sandler could ever be a good enough actor to be Oscar nominated? Thanks guys and bring on the filthy. Unequivocally, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he absolutely can be. You know, it's funny, the last couple of years I've been having these conversations. I've, I and I think a lot of people have grown tired of Adam. I, for whatever reason, Adam Sandler, who's given us some of you know, in the pantheon of great all-time comedies, he's given us a number of just fantastic, memorable, classic comedies. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, in the last number of years, I've found his comedy to become quite stale. That's just me. I know other people still like, and that's great. That's awesome. That's why his movie still makes some money. But I was shocked, especially after Rain Over Me, and, and there have been a couple of others, when he did a dramatic role, to realize how good he is. Adam Sandler, I thought an argument could have been made for Rain Over Me that Sandler, I think there's a solid argument to be made, Sandler could have gotten an Oscar nomination for his performance in that film. It was wonderful and I think really eye-opening. And it was after seeing him in that movie, because we've seen him in a couple of other dramatic pieces where he's been really good, but for me it was Rain Over Me where I went, this guy is actually, he's taken it to another level. And he's really good and very believable. Um, in those roles. I completely believe if Sandler will get out of just what's comfortable for him, which is these schlocky comedies right. he's doing now, if he would get out of these these things he's doing, he's doing another one with Drew Barrymore that just looks awful. Uh, but if Free he, vacation to Africa, I think yeah, that's what yeah, it's called. I think, yeah. <laughs> if he would get out of that mold that he's just comfortable in and do more of these dramatic things, I have very little doubt at some point we would see an Academy Award on his man. I think he's that good. I really do. I think he is that good. And I, I just as a film fan, I really hope to see him start to go in that direction. Anyway, what do you think? Well, you know, I didn't see Rain Over Me, <clears throat> but I saw That's My Boy. And <laughs> don't ask me why. It was just a weird <laughs> impulse. Instead of going to see another movie, I remember with my girlfriend and a friend were like, it was like, let's just go see That's My Boy. Come oh, on. Oh, my gosh. That was and so bad. It was incredibly bad, but <laughs> with the caveat of three incredibly funny scenes one, the stripper upside down, yeah, drinking the yeah. orange juice. There's a couple of scenes in that movie that made me laugh out loud, which I would never expect. The rest of the movie was trash. But hey, for every one of those like bad comedies, there's usually always one or two of those scenes that are incredibly funny. Oh, so, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, can never, I can never be too harsh with comedies, especially if, they, hey, that one part was cool. You know, it's not a classic. But for me, Punch Drunk Love sticks out. Yeah, that's what a lot of people <clears> talk about. <throat> Absolutely. Where it, it shows you that he's an actor with depth. And he can play a real character with emotion, obviously with anger issues as well, which he plays great. He had anger management. He's always been that guy who can go from regular to super angry, you know. But with Punch Drunk Love, it showed a couple of different levels of acting that he just doesn't flex. I think it's like, it's really up to him to take that challenge. Like, I'm sure he has like 100 scripts in a drawer that he could easily comb through. That These are all, you know, dramas that, you know, it's just taking that chance. It's all up to him. It's his production company. So it's Adam Sandler, do you want to you know, take a ser another serious role and take a stab at being taken seriously? Or do you want to stay in the in the wheelhouse of, you know, fun romantic comedy stuff, you know? You know, and he did two films that I think were attempts at being half and half, <clears throat> you know, half dramatic, half his his comedy. So one was Click, which... Uh, right, and I like that. You know, I loved the first half of Click, mm -hmm. and, I, and then it lost me in the second half. And then there was Funny People, which right. should have been great. That should have been a great movie, and I was really disappointed with it. Um, so he kind of did these these two films where he was kind of straddling the fence. Right. Hey, I want to have a little bit dramatic, but I want to kind of keep my roots in comedy here. I, I just want to see him pull a Tom Hanks. Right. Pull a Tom Hanks and do your Philadelphia, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I, I want to see him do that, so it'd be kind of cool. It's funny you mentioned Funny People because that's one of those uneven films where it has a lot of amazing scenes in it. It just is so weirdly paced, and it's like, I think it's like two and a half hours. It's a really weirdly yeah. paced film. Uh, I would recommend it, though, if, you haven't, if people haven't seen Funny People, just to give it a shot. I mean, it is one of those films, like you said, that's kind of rides both lines, but, you know, it's more serious than as a comedy, yeah. but it's a lot of funny moments. I, I, I'm, I'm glad you're recommending it, because I, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's good that we have a little bit of balance on the table here. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, 
AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.